genetic engineering involves many steps. You start with a cell that has a desired gene, in this case the human cell, and a cell that will help to transmit that gene into other cells, in this case a bacterium. This example is using genes from a human cell, but the desired gene could be inside any cell, including plant cells, animal cells or microorganisms. So, step one, enzymes are used to isolate the required gene. This diagram shows the required gene being cut out from the chromosome strand using enzymes. The required gene is this red section of the chromosome. Step two, this gene is inserted into a vector, usually a plasmid or virus. Remember that a plasmid is a circular loop of DNA which has been removed from this bacterium. This plasmid is a vector because it's a structure that carries or conveys another structure. In this case, a desired gene will be carried by the plasmid. So then our required gene in red here is going to be inserted into this plasmid. You can see now that the plasmid is made up of the bacterium DNA with the required gene inserted into it. Step three, the vector is used to insert the gene into required cells. So now we're going to insert our vector carrying the required gene in red into another bacterial cell. In general, this cell could also belong to an animal, a plant or a microorganism. Finally, this cell will reproduce to make more cells with the desired gene. So in this example, this bacterium will be allowed to reproduce to make more cells containing the desired gene. You can see that each one has our required gene in red. The genes are added at an early stage of development in these cells. Why? Genes are added to cells at an early stage in their development. Let's say that we start with a plant cell that's been modified to contain a new gene that makes it resistant to a type of plant disease. We're going to allow this cell to multiply and develop into many different types of cells. All of these cells will form part of a new plant in which all of the cells have the new gene. Modifying a cell in an already mature plant would mean that only a section of this plant would contain the gene rather than the entire plant. You are expected to explain this idea in the exam. The purpose of adding genes at an early stage is that a whole organism can develop with the desired characteristics. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here. Or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE Biology course. See you there!